to uh, most ITVs, Maxon Cinema 4D R15 feature. So, and uh, one thing I like to show is uh, the complete new and improved and uh, better, new better beveling. Exactly, but um, at first I have to say I, I didn't check it in deep, so I, I can just give you a quick sneak peek. So I hope it's okay. Uh, don't expect too much, but uh, anyway, maybe uh, it, it helps to to satisfy your curiosity. <laughs> okay, okay. I start with this cube and change them and select. The edge and do bevel. So, and it's a new beveling. You see, uh, there's an interactive thing and there's some things, and I do the interactive thing. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, great. Okay, it's it's uh, some uh, subdivision uh, because I, I played before, and now you can interactive change your subdivision of this uh, corner. So offset and it's deep so now it's a round corner but you can do it interactive too yeah and when you grab on this line you can change it interactive it's very great and yeah, it's a round corner and this it's some kind of deep hole <laughs> so this is uh, very nice for for um, modeling I think yeah, and um, it's not all. You can choose uh, this in, in point mode too. Bevel and oh, bevel. And you see, he uh, remembers uh, my uh, values. Very interesting. <laughs> so. It's the same, you can go in the, oh, interesting, uh, in this direction and uh, yeah, default is, is rounded, the shape, and you can do some uh, user generated shape with this. It's maybe not so cool with, uh, with this function, uh, oh, sorry. Maybe better was a little with this. Sec. Please, bubble monster. <laughs> yeah, you see, that is uh, the curve I set. So uh, I set a uh, higher subdivision. And you see, I can interactive doing some strange forms with this uh, splanting yeah and what's happened when I oh it's the same to a cube changing select all <laughs> uh, eh? moment Sorry, he did it twice. <laughs> okay, so please bevel. Yeah, and now I can interactive change the, the type of, of corner. And yeah, it's very, very interesting stuff. And uh, beside that, uh, this is more or less uh, okay. Here are here are uh, some. Options you can say this is not uh, quad polygons, or this is uh, n gons or rounding n gons. Ah, ah, the roundings are n gons and some stuff. Uh, you can choose instead of, of this uh, kind of style, you can choose a uh, moment profile. You can choose a uh, what's it called uh, a spline, yeah. Uh, Draw and spline and, and give them the profile and uh, okay the rest 
topology are uh, some very complicated uh, styles how the the edges are beveled. Uh, it's, it's, it's very uh, different kind of stuff. I, I, I tried to show you, but I, I'm not sure if I able to do because uh, at the moment I didn't understand much of them. So I just select some corners here. And do a bubbling sack. Mister. Yeah. And uh, when I now Ah, yeah, change this. Matering, I don't know. Um, you see, it, it uh, gives uh, different uh, shapes of, of uh, the resulting geometry, yeah? Patch and radial and uniform. And, uh, okay, I mean, <laughs> at the moment I have no clear idea what this uh, helps in, in real world situation, but maybe. Uh, but maybe you are a modeling expert and uh, now become a, a better idea <laughs> what happens with this um, beveling tool part rounding full convex okay interesting um, great great okay okay maybe some more yeah yeah there is some more um, I start again with a cube and this is beveling uh, like or similar before but just mm, way better but there is some interesting thing too you can bevel with um, uh, what, with, uh, with uh, subdivision in, in, in oh man, sorry, oh yeah with subdivision in mind yeah because the new beveling tool and still my default thing. It's not just camphor, it's solid camphor too. You see, complete different look. Yeah, you can change the values. And um, again, you can change uh, some stuff, but okay, nothing happens now. So, and uh, when you know what solid camphor modeling is, it's, it's uh, very uh, subdivision surface oriented. And this means, uh, now we didn't have a corner, but we have a corner when we put it in a subdivision surface. Uh, yeah, uh, so, oh yeah, it's it's one big new. It's not longer called hypernerves in Cinema 40. Now it's called subdivision surface. Great. <laughs> so and and. Uh, that means uh, you have the possibility to do some uh, solid camphor style modeling. It's uh, very great, I think. <laughs> I not uh, do much modeling in, in, in my day work, um, I, but I know it from, from the old days where I have to model something. And Sack. Yeah, but it's interesting. Um, yeah. Complete different stuff. I, I'm sure the the maximum guys we <laughs> extrude. Hey, why did it always have inner extrude? Because it's have groups. No. <laughs> okay. Anyway, you see. Uh, I'm not so fit in the modeling thing. When when I need something special, I, I find my way. But but um, yeah, my modeling skills are a bit dusty right now. Okay, but but maybe you you become a idea, uh, a very very basic idea. It's possible with the new uh, fantastic beveling tool. Uh, I wish I can you show uh, <laughs> uh, fast modeling some cool stuff, but I can't right now. But I hope it's it's interesting for you that that is a new leveling tool. And you watching Most I TV. Uh, my name is uh, Mo uh, Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. 
to be informed in the future about very great cinema 4d and motion design things and uh, yeah this is my little try to show some new r15 features and i hope you like it anyway <laughs> bye bye